In today's video, I'm going to be going into Learning Express and buying one of every animal themed fidget slime and squishmallow that they sell. It was highly requested by you guys, so thank you for this awesome idea. And also, I am wearing a cow printed shirt today just to get me in the spirit of filming this. I think it's going to be so much fun and highly successful. I was just thinking about it, and maybe it's not a good idea that I buy one of every animal themed squishmallow because if I did that, then I think I would need an assistant to help me carry bags out of the store there would be so many squishmallows so instead what i'm gonna do is if i'm able to find at least 65 items today then i will treat myself to my top three favorite squishmallows at the end of the challenge so fingers crossed that we will make it to 65 i really have high hopes but guys before we get started i have a challenge for all of you watching i want to see if you guys can like click subscribe and turn on post notifications in just five seconds here goes the countdown Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. If you guys were successfully able to complete the five second challenge, then I want you to comment down below your three favorite animals using emojis only. And also if you want to comment below your top three least favorite animals as well. I don't really dislike many animals, but there are some that are really scary that I really wouldn't want to be in my house. And one more thing, I want you guys to pause the video and comment below how many items do you think we are going to find in today's shopping challenge. But again, fingers crossed that we find at least 65 so that we could bring home three adorable new Squishmallows. That is my only hope for today's video. But without further ado, you guys let's go inside and tackle this challenge here we go you guys all right guys so we just made it into the store and as always we are starting in the front display so we have some christmas poppets up here because fun fact this is actually the first video that i'm filming in 2023 that's why there's still some christmas up here <gasps> Guys, I found our first animal themed fidgets. It's a squirrel popper. I actually already have one of these, but it is one of my very favorite fidgets. So we're definitely going to get him. And also you guys, we cannot forget about this bin. <laughs> this is the bin that has the squeaky chickens <gasps> and the cows and the sharks, but we are only doing land animals. We are not doing any sea creatures because I've already done a video like that. So we can get the chicken and the pig. We're gonna make sure to get all the different variations. I think these are all Christmas themed. Oh wait, never mind. This black chicken is not Christmas themed, so we can get him as well. This pink cow. Comment below, you guys. What do you like better, the chickens or the pigs? We're gonna get that one as well okay and then i think that is one of each so literally we've only been shopping for like a minute and our basket is getting really full so i have a feeling that this is going to be a very very successful shopping challenge okay guys how do we feel about sushi <laughs> i don't think we could count it because sushi is something you eat yeah technically it is fish but that would just feel wrong so we are not going to get any of the sushi let's see okay we have a lobster poppet but again we are not counting sea creatures so we're gonna leave that there Ooh. okay i just found another thing that we can add it's a little bunny poppet purse so let's put that in there stretchy pugs i have always wanted one of these and there are two left as you can see so this is my lucky day. We're gonna get this, and then this is a slug. Eh, I feel like it's more of a bug and not an animal, so we're not gonna get that. And we're gonna get the pug. You guys, this is just from the front display. We are doing really, really well. All right, guys, let's see what we can find over here. We have some food-themed squishies, super fun, but they are not animals. But, ooh, okay, Tangle Charms. As you guys can see, there are pictures of the little characters up the top. I think that this is dog themed. Yeah, this Tangle bracelet is dog themed. So we can count that. Then we have all of these squishy sea creatures, which are fun, but again, would not qualify, unfortunately. Ooh, okay, so I was hoping that they would still have these. These are squishy farm animals. So there's a chick, a cow, and a pig. You guys, wait, there used to be a horse. Oh, there is still a horse. I just didn't see him back there. 
Oh my goodness. I feel like we just hit the jackpot. Look at all of these slimes. Okay, so it looks like there is a random mix out right now, and I doubt any of these are going to be animal themed, but let's check them out. So we have whipped coffee. Yum. Oh my gosh. Confetti cupcake. Uh, polar flurry. If this had a polar bear on it, I would count it, but it does not. So we will not be getting that. Birthday cake ice cream. No. Yeah, you guys. So unfortunately, oh wait, 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 wait. Polar flurry does have a polar bear. Oh my goodness. I don't know how I missed that the first time, but I saw another one over here on the shelf and I noticed the polar bear the second time around. So I stand corrected. We actually can count this. That is so exciting. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go over to the toy towers. You guys see that? The toy towers. Yes, there are always so many animal themed fidgets over there. So let's go check them out. Okay, stress balls, pop tubes, avocados. Ooh, guys, should we get this snake? Oh, I guess, yeah, technically he would count. I mean, he's not the cutest creature, but we are going to get him for this challenge. As much as I love these little caterpillars, I feel like these are more of like insects and not so much cute cuddly animals so we're not gonna be getting those here we have octopus oh, guys this video would be so much easier if i counted all living things but it has to be somewhat challenging so we are sticking to land animals dinosaurs they're their own category oh is this a lizard or an iguana oh it's a chameleon <laughs> none of the above okay we're gonna get him those are sharks, centipedes, mermaids. Okay, I don't think I see any more animal themed fidgets over here. Oh, wait, never mind. Here's a little wind up bunny, and he is so stinking cute. We're gonna get him. And here is another shelf we haven't looked at yet. This is a 3D Poppet turtle, and he has a camouflage shell. Oh no, this owl has no eyeballs. How did that happen? I'm not sure where his eyeballs went, but we're gonna get him anyway. Okay, he needs adopted. I feel sorry for him. Here's a whole another display. So let's see if we find any more. Not sure what this animal is. What do you guys think it is? Comment below. But we're gonna get him and we're also going to get the lamb. They have these jumbo caterpillars. Oh my gosh, I want all of them. They're so neon, love those. Okay, any other animals? Oh, yes. Bottom right-hand corner, I almost missed it. What is this thing? I think it's a bull. I'm gonna read the tag. It's a cow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Never mind. It's a brown cow, a chocolate cow, if you will. So good thing we went over there because we found three new things to add to our basket. So now we're gonna check out Crazy Errands and we're just gonna go through every single one and see if we can find any animal themed ones. Okay, there's a horoscope one. Morning Dew. Ooh, that kind of looks like the weather that's happening right now in Pittsburgh. <laughs> Mermaid. Dragons, yes, they're an animal, but it's more of like a fantasy kind of animal. Enchanted Unicorn. Oh, guys, I don't know. I am so conflicted. Do we count this dragon and unicorn putty or not? Because I feel like I can make a whole another video shopping for like mythical creatures. And I think that could be a whole video in itself. So we are not going to count that. Oh, wait, I think we may have just found our first animal themed crazy errands. So this is jungle themed and it's literally perfect. Look, you're supposed to find all the animals so the concept is really fun and there's even a checklist on the back so we are going to get that all right guys and those are all of the animal themed ones i'm happy we found one and of course you guys we could not forget about the pop tube pets i mean these are so perfect for this video so okay we're gonna skip over all of the sea animals of course this penguin absolutely counts he is so cute so we're gonna add him to our basket. Ooh, we have an elephant. I love these little minis. A crocodile? Or is this an alligator? How do you know the difference? I know it has something to do with their teeth. I cannot remember. So if you guys know, then comment below and let me know. Is this a crocodile or an alligator? But either way, he does count. So we're gonna get him. Here we have a zebra, which we will be getting. A black bear. How stinking cute is he? 
I feel like there's a pretty equal mix of sea animals and land animals. So this turtle could go either way. It could be a sea turtle or it could be just like a regular land turtle. We're gonna get him. Here's a little porcupine. He is so cute. I'm looking around and I think we got one of every land animal. All right, guys, now we're checking out all the fidgets that are in this little circus tent display. So many unicorns. And again, I say I want to come back and do a mythical creatures fidget and slime shopping challenge. I think that would be really, really fun. I've always wanted to get one of these chickens. And I think today is the perfect opportunity for me to do that. So look, you squeeze it and it lays an egg so hilarious i love it so we have to get him <gasps> guys look what i found over here oh my goodness so many little dogs and they have the coolest texture so okay i'm gonna bring my basket over here i honestly don't know what breed all these dogs are but if there are any dog experts watching let me know i know this is a chihuahua obviously this is a little beagle this is a I think it's called a Palmer something. I can't remember how to pronounce it. Here's another cutie. I don't know how many different ones there are, but I'm gonna start counting. Let's see, one, two, three, four, any others. I do not wanna leave any out. Oh, here's a little chocolate lab. Look what else I found you guys. He was just chilling with the dogs. It's a little guinea pig in a lion costume. So we need him also. And now the Nido display. All right, we've got shimmer Nidos. We've got these teensy tiny Nidos, snowball Nidos, atomic Nidos, glow in the dark Nidos, dino blobbies. They used to have bears. I wish they still had those because I would absolutely be getting them. Oh, we could absolutely get all of the Nido cool cats. All right, so we're gonna get that one wait is this a pig oh yes okay so we're gonna get a neon pink pig oh okay look what i found you guys these are so satisfying i have a blue one at home so these are neato gummy bears i feel like some people could argue that this would be classified as a food fidget but i think it could go either way okay so we're gonna get him we did not get a neon pink neato cool cat we only got a teal one so we're gonna get that one as well. Here's an entire display of Nido Cool Cats. So we have neon pink, we got turquoise like this one on the display. And now we also need purple and orange. And then I think those are all of the animal themed Nidos. You guys, we might need to go get a second basket. I did not think that it was going to fill up this quickly. And we are still not done. We still have three more displays to check out. This over here, as you can see, is a Purple Stars of Two favorite. These are PBJs, and that stands for Plush Ball Jellies. The cool thing about this is that we could pretty much get almost every single one of these fidgets because for the most part, they are animal themed. And as I go through these, I want you guys to let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. We're gonna get this raccoon, a beaver, a little snail, a zebra, a giraffe, a goldfish, a walrus, a little sheep with rosy cheeks. What is he? I think this is a crocodile. A donkey, a hippopotamus, how cute is this avocado, you guys? I love him so much, but he is not an animal, obviously. Oh, wait, I was about to say that that was all of them, but I just found two more. Okay, so yes, we already got this sheep up here, but this is called a jelly roux, and they're just like PBJs. So we're also going to get this one. And there's one more that I saw, and it's this adorable little panda. And there's only one left, and I could see why. He is seriously so cute, and I actually do not have him in my collection yet. So we're going to add him. I wouldn't be surprised if there are over 100 animal-themed fidgets in here. Literally, you guys, this is insane, and we're still not done. We're now going to go over to this train of fidgets. And a lot of the things that are in here, I feel like I have seen around the store before. However... <gasps> Ooh, never mind. Okay, I didn't see the other side of this display. And look, you guys, I think these are bears. I am not sure. They just say cute squishies on the tag. So what do these look like to you guys? I think they kind of look like bears. So there's an orange one. There is a purple one. This is a cat though. This is definitely a cat. And I think the orange one is a bear or a fox maybe. Ooh, what is he? 
I think he may be a sloth. Yeah, those are all of the different ones that were in that bucket. Ooh, okay, you guys know how much I love these little animals that are dressed in Halloween costumes. So we only got the guinea pig so far, which means we're gonna get all the different ones in here. So this is a little gray dog dressed up like a hot dog. This is, I think it's a golden retriever dressed as a skunk. A pug dressed as a bumblebee. A gray guinea pig in a shark costume. Oh, a guinea pig dressed as a bunny. I think this one may be my favorite. How adorable is that? These are shimmery dinosaurs. I used to think that they were hippos. Um, since they are dinosaurs, I will not be counting them. So we're gonna leave those there. Um, oh my gosh, you guys, I just discovered even more of these little animals that are dressed in costumes. So we have a little princess dog. Oh my gosh, this is the dog that's dressed up as the Statue of Liberty. A pug in a sheep costume. Oh my gosh, you guys, this basket is so heavy, you have no idea. Let's just check in this display really quickly. Ooh, okay. So I see some llamas. There's a white one, a brown one, and we already got this little dog. Yeah, but now we have llamas to add to the mix. This is the final display that we are going to be checking out today. So we have these little inside outsies. They are super soft and it's very fun because you can transform them into something different. So here we have a little avocado, but if you flip it inside out, you have a crying kitten. Why is the cat crying? That's kind of sad, but we are going to get this one. It does count. Oh, look how cute the little sloth is. And as you can see on the other side, we have a purple koala. And I think that the koala is the cutest out of all of these, just saying. So we officially checked the entire store for animal themed fidgets. And oh my gosh, just take a second and look at this basket. It has never been this full before. Seriously, you guys, this is so, so, so satisfying. And I cannot wait to see how many we found. So let's go on over to the counting corner and find out. One minute, 37 seconds later. All right, guys, so on my way over to the counting corner, I noticed that there is a fidget we did not get. And it's a frog. I automatically just assumed that these ooey gooey fidgets were just sea animal themed, but we could totally count this purple frog. Okay, so we're gonna get him. There's also a blue one, a green one. So there we go. All right, guys, so here is the final look at our basket. And remember, I mentioned that if I found at least 65, then I would be able to get my three favorite Squishmallows. So guys, comment your final predictions in the comments below. My final guess is that we found 77. But okay, let's start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, Seventy one, seventy two, seventy three, seventy four, seventy five, seventy six, seventy seven. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that I actually guessed the exact number of fidgets that were in our basket. That doesn't happen very often. I don't know about you guys, but I think that since I guessed exactly how many fidgets were in the basket, I should be allowed to treat myself to an extra squishmallow. This challenge has been such a blast and it's still not over. Look at this mountain of fidgets and slimes and putties. This is so exciting and we definitely found over 65. So you guys know what that means. I'm going to head over to the Squishmallow section and I'm going to choose my top three favorites with you guys. And I am so excited. Two seconds later. Okay, so we have made it to the land of Squishmallows. 
and the same rules still apply. They have to be animal themed. So this is gonna be tricky because immediately when I came over here, some of my favorite ones that I really wanted were not animals. So for example, this stingray who has these cute little polka dots on her back. I also loved this angel, but they do not count. I love this little crab. I remember whenever I first started collecting squishmallows, I thought I purchased this off of Amazon, but it ended up being a fake Squishmallow and I was so sad. It looked just like this, except it was fake. But again, we cannot get it. It is a sea creature, sadly. I really want that one though. Let's see which ones we can get. I really, really, really love this duck. This is Avery the duck and I just, I love ducks. So I think that this definitely has to be part of the four that I bring home with me. <gasps> Stop, is this a turtle? Oh my gosh, look at his little hair. That is adorable in the shell. Okay, we definitely, definitely need this one as well. So now we can choose two more. Okay, I gotta choose wisely. <gasps> oh, he is so cute. Except, wait, these are kind of like the inside outsies that we were looking at earlier. I don't really prefer these Squishmallows, so I'm going to leave him here. I was gonna get him, but yeah, I don't like the Flippamellows. Comment below. Do you guys like them? Yes or no? Oh, wait, you guys. I really, really like this light pink bunny with a rainbow stomach. I think I have to get this. The last one that I'm going to get is this little bear. He is so adorable. And yes, he was out for Christmas. However, I had been meaning to get him for literally the past two months. And even though Christmas is over, I still feel like I need this in my Squishmallow collection. So he is going to be coming home with me. So now that I have my selection of Squishmallows, I want you guys to comment below which one is your favorite. Is it the pink bunny, the Christmas bear, the duck, or the turtle. All right, you guys, so that was all for this video. If you enjoyed it, then please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And one more thing, if you guys have any other ideas for different shopping challenges that I could do here at Learning Express, please let me know because I feel like I've done it all. But you guys are super creative, so if you have any other ideas, please let me know. But I'm going to get going now. This video made me want to go cuddle my bunny Chester, so that's what I'm gonna go do. But I love you all to the minute back. Thank you again for watching, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye! Mwah!